Hi, welcome to my channel, Bruja Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Taurus. This is a um, reading about how you can improve your current love situation, how you can bring your love, new love in, or it can be simply about improving friendships. Okay, so it's intended for, it can be for couples, singles, or anyone in between. I'm also using this new deck. It's called the Magical uh, dog tarot. So instead of people, it has uh, dogs instead. So I hope you guys like it. I'm really enjoying it. I've done a few readings now with it. So let's see what you think. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages for Taurus on this. How can they improve their love? Bring new love in. This card wants to say hello, so we're just going to say hello. This is the Eight of Fire, the end of the Eight of Wands. Uh, fast communication. So I guess the doggies want to talk. I have something to say. Give us clear messages from now until the end of March 2020 for Taurus, please. Please give us clear messages. And I did bring some doggy energy in here. I got this ceramic guy that my daughter made years ago. This is my brother's dog here. His name is Mole. Please give us clear messages for Taurus on this. How can they improve their love spread? All right, here we go. This is how you currently feel about love. What you need to leave behind. What you have to offer in love. What you don't see coming. And the possible outcome. Ah, at the bottom of the deck is the lover's card and the sky puppy. All right. So at the heart of this or the overall energy is about love and excitement. New opportunities, new beginnings maybe. All right, let's see here. How you currently feel about love is the three of C. This is the three of cups. Okay. Um... So, in this card, we see, um, you know, the, the, the dogs uh, just kind of looking at these crabs here. This other guy is getting away with, with one of the fish, running off with the fish. So, they're, you know, they're, uh, they're looking to see what the sea has to offer at this point. And the Three of Cups is about, you know, coming together, friendship, celebrations, companionship, uh, socializing in some way, okay? So, you know, with them, they're kind of enjoying a meal together here, let's say, right? Um, so I guess if this is in the position of how you're currently feeling about love, I think you're ready to enjoy your time with your friends, enjoy your time with other people, um, and... Also, I mean, the Three of Cups is about emotion, so perhaps you're ready to share your emotions with other people and just let them know, like, what's been going on in terms of, um, you know, your, your emotions and you're coming together in a celebration with people, okay? What you need to leave behind is the Fire Alpha Female, okay? This is the Queen of Wands, all right? The Queen of Wands is about an energy that is, you know, the positive aspects of the Queen of Wands is she's very creative, she's very generous, she's a queen, she's got a lot to offer. Um, but in, like, the dark side of uh, the Queen of Wands is that she can be, you know, maybe um, a bit controlling um, she might get mad easily. Um, she might have a temper. Um, she might be, feel burnt out. Okay. Um, so this is in the position of what you need to leave behind. So you want to think about all those things. Okay. Um, or it could literally mean that you need to leave a certain person behind. And this represents fire energy. So if you're dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, it could literally mean that you need to leave that person behind, or it could mean that you need to leave certain aspects behind of yourself or an individual. All right. What you have to offer in love is the sky alpha male. Okay. So this is, um, 
uh, in the traditional tarot, it's the king of swords, okay? So what you have to offer is somebody who's very logical, um, somebody who's very wise, someone who makes, um, you know, decisions based on logical choices, okay? Um, you may not put a lot of emotion out there at times, but um, you're definitely wise and you have, you know, this uh, Doberman here has a lot of, there's a lot of warmth in his um, eyes too. This is also, you know, uh, a breed that's very, um, in the positive way, kind of like a very respected um, uh, dog, right? So um, what you have to offer is that air of respect, that air of logic, um, and someone who's wise and warm and who can come in and, and make decisions as needed, okay? Um, what you don't see coming is the five of earth, okay? The five of earth is the five of pentacles, and it's um, about feeling left out in the cold, um, it's also about financial struggles. It's also about, you know, maybe needing to find a new home or having, um, home difficulties. Okay. Um, so what you don't see coming is that you might start to feel this way or you might start, um, or you might be dealing with somebody who's dealing with these things, you know, maybe financial struggles, maybe a home living situation that they need to deal with. Um, so I think this could either be like within yourself or with someone else that you're dealing with that you don't see these struggles kind of coming, whether they're for you personally or somebody that you're dealing with, okay? All right, and then the possible outcome is the fire alpha male. Oh, that's such a cute card. All right. So the possible outcome is um, the king of wands. Okay. So the king of wands um, is somebody just very warm, very approachable. Okay. Uh, very creative, uh, very respected. Okay. Um, what you don't see coming is you, I mean, the possible outcome could be that you know, you're going to tap into this energy with yourself, right? You're going to tap into this energy of warmth and creativeness and regalness. There's just something really regal about, um, you know, the, the, the chain and the, the, this dog in particular. Okay. Um, and you know, whatever you feel this card says to you too, in terms of the possible, possible outcome, things that I'm not saying that you see in this card or they're applied to you in some way, you know, take that for yourself too. Okay. Um, but the possible outcome here is you're going to feel very respected. Um, you know, sitting in, in, in your own power here, sitting, sitting in your own throne. Okay. Um, and that's pretty great. I think. All right. Let's see, let's get three cards of advice for Taurus on how they can improve their love situation, how they can bring new love in, or improve their current friendships. These guys give us three cards of advice for Taurus. All right, let's see what we got, Taurus. The first position is the Seven of Fire. It's the Seven of Wands. Um, then the second one is the Five of Sea. That's the Five of Cups. And the Eight of Sky. That's the Eight of Wands. Okay, so the Seven of Fire is the Seven of Wands. Five of Sea is the Five of Cups. And the Eight of Sky is the Eight of Swords. Okay, you got almost all the elements here, right? Three out of four. So the Seven of Fire talks about, um, you know, being engaged in conflict, okay? 
um, having a battle of some sort. You see these two dogs barking at each other. Uh, these other two are kind of, you know, engaging negatively with each other too, okay? Um, and the five of C is walking away from uh, something that's not emotionally fulfilling, okay? So I think that the advice cards are telling you that you want to get away from conflict. Um, you want to walk away from these things that are not emotionally fulfilling to you. And with the eight of sky is about, I think it's telling you to trust your own logic. Okay. Um, the eight of sky can be about kind of, um, feeling trapped in a certain situation, not so much emotionally, but, um, you know, in your thoughts. Okay. Um, it's also about, well, it's about feeling trapped. Okay. And, uh, in your thoughts. But I think this is telling you that you want to trust in your own logic. Okay. So I think what in conjunction with all of this, what this is saying, if we're reminded of what you have to offer is this kind of, you know, great wise logic that makes good decisions. This card is reminding you that you want to trust that side of you. You want to trust that ability that you have to make good choices, okay? And that you not engaging in this conflict and walking away from something unfulfilling is the right thing to do for you, okay? I think that's what it's saying here. All right, let's um, pull one card as a final message for Taurus. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us one card of advice for Taurus on this, how they can improve their love spread from now until the end of March. One card for their highest school spirits, please. Thank you. All right, we're going to pick this card here, the beauty way. All right, let's see what the card, the book has to say about it. Okay, the beauty way is both a path that you travel on and a daily practice. The path is where you choose to perceive only beauty before you, behind you, and all around you as you journey through life. The practice is where you take action to bring beauty to every situation you are in. When things get ugly, you act to bring integrity and peace to the difficult encounter. When everyone else perceives only darkness, you point out the light and help uncover the hidden treasures. And that actually reminds me of what you have to offer, right? As the sky alpha male, you have that to offer, okay? You're bringing light and you help uncover the hidden treasures, okay? The beauty way invites you to create beauty in your life and to recognize the beauty inside yourself and in others. Stop to smell the roses, take a deep breath, look up at the stars, and recognize the splendor that surrounds you. See the beauty in whatever situation you find yourself in, and you will receive the lesson that life is teaching you in a kind and gentle way. All right, that's your reading for today, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Bye.